It's been a while since I've made a video, but I figured it's time I make one because I keep getting dinguses giving me shtick over this case, over this build. And I'm here to correct it. I'm here to stop the news because I've gotten aggressive people actually DMing me, messaging me, your fans are wrong, you're an idiot, you don't know how to build things. On this case, the King 95 Pro from Montec, right, which no other tech reviewer that has actually gotten this case or builder has actually stated what direction these fans go in, all right? And it confused me at first because I saw it and I was like, wait a minute, the RGB ring is only on one side, but the fans are, all right, so let's see what's going on with this. So I built it and I was like, all right, we'll see which direction these fans blow in. If they're in the incorrect way, then I'll take them out and I'll replace them with different fans. There are proprietary fans that come with this case. The correct orientation is key to cooling your system properly. Both your GPU, your CPU, your RAM, your VRMs, every single component needs air going across it, otherwise it heats up too much and then you get crashes, instability, all kinds of things. Okay, you get uh, lower life expectancy out of your components. Right. Now, with that being said, these fans spin in the correct orientation as opposed to every other fan on the market that would be in this configuration. What I mean by that is this. Now I'm going to take this cheap ass fan that I use for testing and also demonstration purposes. This is an ugly fan, but it works. The cage, the back cage for, for the actual fan, this would be blowing in this direction, okay? So you have the leading edge and it's going this way and air would be coming out of the back, right? So if you got fans typically for a build like this and they didn't come with fans and you wanted air to come in, you would have the fans like this with the cage, the ugly cage pointing on the back end, blowing air in. And then, you know, of course the same for that, you would have it like this. And then for AIOs, you would have them up on top like that where the fan blades are fully exposed on the bottom, pulling air in, and then air going out the back of the fan frame. On these, they spin in the opposite direction that you would expect. So I'm gonna stop the fan, and I'm gonna show you what direction this actually spins in, all right? So this spins in reverse. Watch when it spins up. See that? I'll stop, I'll stop a different one. I don't wanna, I don't wanna damage it. It spins in the opposite direction. The leading edge is down and then it blows the air in. So you have cool, denser air coming in from the bottom, blowing in up and going across your GPU in the bottom of the motherboard. These fans here, they spin in the opposite direction as to what you would expect. Look at this, I'm gonna slow it down. All right, now I'm gonna stop it. See that? Watch, there we go. It spins this way. The leading edge is on the back of the spider cage, which means that it's blowing air into the case. So you're getting cool air come in from the front, from the bottom. You have this, which is an exhaust. So this is gonna spin the leading edges here and it's blowing out here. Watch, there you go, all right? These are deep cool fans. These fans are not the same as these. They're blowing out the top of the case. Some basic science from elementary school and middle school, okay, is cold air is denser than hot air, right? So you have cold air coming in, cold air coming from the front, it goes up, it cools, and it gets blown out the top and the back. That is the optimal way to cool any system. This is the correct orientation for almost every single build, right? There's also another subject of cooling and cleaning your 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 fans cleaning your fans and i know a lot of people they will clean their fans they will clean their radiators their motherboards all that stuff and they will not they will not keep their fans from spinning they will just they'll actually blow with a duster or whatever they will spin their fans up for this this is this is a good visual demonstration i use this as a visual demonstration for a lot of clients i will show them with a multimeter Oh, and as you could grab a cheap, cheap multimeter. I use this one because it has a Molex adapter on it and it's a lot easier to put pins in. 
<coughs> so because it's easier to put Molex pins in, uh, of course we'll put, you know, a ground as your center and then your 12 volt is always to this is a 12 volt fan. Um, so you'll see, once this normalizes down, uh, this will actually generate current. Uh, you will see that it is actually generating even just be my, by my spinning it, uh, you're getting, what is this? Let's see, we'll spin, I'll spin it up. You're getting almost a volt, a volt of, uh, of, of, of uh, a volt going through. Uh, as far as current is concerned, we do current, it shows it as zero. And then once I spin it up, we're almost at two amps. Go to one, it'll go to one because it's out of range. So this is a 2,000, 2000 milliamps, uh, which equals to two amps. And that's just from spinning a fan like this. Now, uh, if I go to 20 volts here, and I will actually set this up with a blower, always make sure that you put something, either a pen or a piece of tape, zip tie, something to stop your fans from spinning. And I have this set to two, I have this set to 20 volts. 20 volts, I have it connected to my multimeter and I have a standard air duster, right? Let's see what happens. It's topping out at five volts. It's nuts, I'll do it again for you so you can actually see. All right. That's a lot. There's a lot to a motherboard. We also have alternating current as well. So I'm just gonna show you that. Uh, so it'll come out at about nine volts AC. Stop that. It hurts my ears. Never, ever, 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 ever blow out your system with a duster or a can of compressed air or a, an actual state. I've seen people use a vacuum, I've seen which is terrible because it actually creates static and that can damage components as well. Or they've used a leaf blower outside. Motherboard's main ground, if you will, is the entire motherboard, right? So the entire motherboard is a ground plane with access, backdoor access in, in terms of where, how, it, how all the other components connect to it. The best way I can describe it is, is, is that it is, uh, the negative is basically the entire motherboard, which goes back to the negative side on the power supply, which connects to ground and goes to the wall outlet and then goes to earth. Um, the components, have forward voltage fuses, right? So they can shunt and stop uh, spikes over volts and they're generally robust when voltage is going through them the correct way. And they can protect against lightning strikes, surges, spikes, all kinds of things. When you have voltage going backwards and uh, you're going to get back feed on the negative, negative side of the motherboard, which means that you're gonna be introducing positive voltage to the ground, which means that it's going to energize every component in the wrong direction, and then it's going to blow out components. And then you get those people that actually do do this with their electronic duster, and they don't stop the fans, and then they blow out the standby power circuit for uh, to turn the system on. They blow out VRMs, they destroy their CPU, they blow out uh, voltage regulators, they blow out transistors, they draw, blow, blow out anything. And it's, these components on these motherboards are extremely tiny. They're the size of a grain of rice or smaller. And you're pumping five, six volts and, or when, and showing AC voltage at the same time, which means there's a ripple effect in in the, the current generation, right? So you have unprotected voltage, unprotected amps going backwards into a system. 
in the direction that the system was not designed to withstand. That being said, I've touched on two subjects because I felt that they were both they were both needed to be addressed and I just wanted to show because there's not a lot out there. to show with a multimeter, but this actually has an LED built in, uh, 15 LEDs in a ring, this is cheap fan, but this is directly tied to the same voltage that would be uh, going from your motherboard header, your fan header, into the fan. So this feeds off the same power that spins this fan. So because of that, this is a perfect demonstrator uh, to showing you that the, the voltage and amperage generation will light up the LEDs, and that's the voltage that would be going backward into your motherboard. Yeah. So I hope that you learned a few things today, especially with the King 95 Pro and which direction their fans spin in. See, it's gonna spin in that direction. There you go. Blowing air in, 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 blowing out, blowing out. This is the correct way to do your, your system. It's the correct way. The correct way to cool your thing. You always want your AIO on the top. Hot at the top, cold at the bottom. Goes in, cools all of your components, makes everything nice. The thermals on this thing is wonderful. Actually, I was, I was messing around with it doing some, some gaming, some benchmarking, CPU just sat there at like 55C. Well, this is a nice machine. This is very available for sale. Uh, this is called Blue Dragon. You can find it on my website. You can find it on Facebook Marketplace. You can find it on other marketplaces as well. Uh, I figured I'd make something that was contrasting color. So you have the Prussian blue with bright orange, purples, yellows, reds, whites, and blacks. Anyway, I hope you learned something from this. I'll eventually get around to making some more videos, but please, please stop annoying me with the your fans are in the wrong direction thing, because it's really annoying. Okay? It's annoying, it's tiresome. See you later. Peace.